We're back at the Wellesley for the first home league game of 2024 in the 18th league game of the season. Today's visitors are Inverness Clark and Cudden, who have lost the last five league matches here, leaking 25 goals with no reply. Last week, Clark got beat 5 1 by Turriff, and the week before, they beat Wick 8 0. And back in September, they broke 1 6 2 at Grant Street. I'll leave a link to that game at the end. I don't want to tempt fate, but we should expect to see plenty of goals in the upcoming highlights. The current league table shows the Broca currently second and on a six game winning run. Clark are third from bottom with a mix of results in their last five matches. I have highlighted a few controversial incidents for a VAR slow mo replay, so stay tuned to the end to see if you agree with the decisions made by the officials.
Final score and the points are shared after an eventful second half. Here are the results from today's other matches and what it has done to the league table. 38 goals in 8 games and only the Strathspanian game cancelled due to a frozen pitch. Not much change in the league, Banks of D move up to second with Briefing stay in top after winning the third game in a row. Upcoming are a few incidents I've highlighted that caused a bit of controversy depending on what side you're on. Kick to the head, straight red card from a ref, anyone out there disagree with us? <laughs> My one Cam Ravar doesn't get a good view of this one, but the movement of the keeper suggests he's trying to get the ball back into play, so a corner to the Broch was awarded. The ref has a much better view, as do those behind the goals. This goal would have put Clark 2 1 up, but Fergus Adams is deemed offside, so it looks pretty tight. What do you think? <laughs> I 
can't tell from this angle if it was a handball, but apparently it was a ward to the broch. This was what led to the Clark guy on the bench getting sent off as he made it verbally clear that he disagreed with the spot kick decision. No goal like technology in the Highland League, but the reaction of the fans behind the goals would suggest that the ball didn't cross the line. The slow mo isn't clear enough to confirm if it did or not. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Next up, we're away to Turf, so hit subscribe to get notified of when that video is uploaded.